Welcome to the Epidemiology Lecture Series. Today we are going to talk about how to detect the most possible source of an outbreak using SPSS software and a case discussion. This is the scenario. It was a beautiful Monday morning. But it was not so for the people in Saliyapura village. During the last week, many of the villagers admitted to the hospital with fever, diarrhea, vomiting and mild respiratory symptoms. Regional epidemiologist stated that there are some other patients with similar clinical features presented from the nearby villagers. The National Epidemiology Unit stated that similar clinical picture was reported from the patients from other parts of the country including the foreigners. An outbreak of a viral disease was confirmed with possible oral or respiratory transmission. It is suspected that the origin of the outbreak could be from Saliyapura village. However, the mechanism of spread of the disease to other areas of the district and other areas of the country is not known. Exact methods of prevention cannot be stated yet as the virus is novel. National authorities ask the people to stay at home, use personal protective equipment and use only boiled water and cooked food as general measures. While the infected patients are being treated at the hospital, a group of epidemiologists visited the village to determine the cause and the possible modes of transmission of disease. After discussion with patients and healthy individuals of the village, epidemiologists stated that these are the possible sources of infection. Participated the funeral held recently is considered as one of the major risk factors. Stay in the crowded area of the village? Had meals from a specific hotel of the village? Using the common water source? Participated a political gathering held recently? And use of public transport? And been a patient from high socioeconomic group because many of the patients presented are from high socioeconomic group and Although it is not a significant observation, the dietary history revealed that many patients ate chicken during the last week. Next, we are trying to identify the exact cause for this particular outbreak using SPSS software. This is the SPSS data sheet with outbreak data. Each column represents one variable and the first column represents the ID of the patient. Next column, whether the patient has the disease or not, and the next eight column represent the risk factors that we summarized before. Number one was given if the person has the disease or has the risk factor, and zero was given if they do not have the disease or the risk factor. For example, this 35th patient has the disease so it's labeled as 1 and he has not participated to the funeral so it is 0 and he is from the crowded area of the village so it is 1 and he has taken meals from the common village hotel and he has not used the common water source of the village. He participated to the political rally so it's 1 and not used the public transport. And he is from high socioeconomic class and ate chicken during the last week. So let's try to identify the exact cause among these possible causes using SPSS software. Go to Analyze and Descriptive Statistics and Frequencies. At the variable consist with deceased or not and click OK. And this is the SPSS output. There are 90 healthy individuals and there are 90 patients. But we need to consider that in outbreak investigation, number of people in deceased and healthy group can be different. Let's identify the presence of each risk factor in this healthy and deceased group. For this, go to analysis and descriptive statistics and you can click on cross tabs. And you need to add the deceased or not variable to the column and all the other risk factors into the rows. Then click on cells and 
mark the row percentages and click continue and click ok this is the output and first table shows there are 180 participants and no missing values this is the comparison of funeral participation and diseases so here this is the participation of funeral 67 percent of the people who participated funeral are healthy and only 33 percent are deceased as the majority who participated the funeral is healthy participation of funeral is unlikely to be the cause of the outbreak and let's go to the next risk factor it is crowded place of the village with the disease and here it's the crowded place and approximately 76 percent of the people from crowded area are deceased so we can guess that being a person in crowded area may be the cause of this outbreak next is meals from village hotel 57 percent of the people who took meals from the village hotel are deceased so it is possible risk factor but less possible than the crowded place next is using the common water source of the village 77 percent of the people who are using the common water source are healthy so it is unlikely to be a risk factor next is the political rally participation 55 percent of the people are healthy so it is unlikely to be the risk factor but it is not as unlikely as the water source initially we believed that public transportation might be a major risk factor but 88 percent of the people are healthy so public transportation may not be the risk factor nearly 64 percent of the people of high socioeconomic group are deceased so high socioeconomic group may be a risk factor for the disease initially we believed that consumption of chicken may not be a strong risk factor but 81 percent of the people who consume chicken are deceased therefore this is also a strong risk factor now we can classify crowded area high social class and chicken consumption as strong possible risk factors meals from village hotel as moderately possible risk factor political gathering as less likely risk factor funeral common water source and public transport as unlikely risk factors for more precise assumption we can calculate the odds ratios let's understand what is an odds ratio if the risk factor is attending the funeral house if the odds ratio is 3, there is 3 times risk of getting the disease among the people who attended the funeral house than non attendance. If the odds ratio is 0.5, it means there is 0.5 times risk or it is not a risk factor. In some cases, it may be a protective factor but here attending funeral house is unlikely to be a protective factor. 95% confidence interval is a must to interpret odds ratio if the odds ratio is 1 that means 1 times risk or the risk is equal if the 95% confidence interval crosses the value 1 odds ratio is not significant despite how large it is hold the video and read the table for more understanding here first and third odds ratio are significant second and fourth odds ratio are not significant for that, go to Analyze, Descriptive Statistics and Cross Tabs and all the variables are there as we have added previously and click on Statistics, you have to select Risk for this specific function. Continue and click on OK. The only additional step that we followed is click on under Statistic option of Cross Tab function. In the output now we have one additional table. Odds ratio is 0.25 and 95% confidence interval does not cross number 1 so it is negatively significant it is not a risk factor next is crowded area the odds ratio is 10.7 95% confidence interval is significant so there is 10 times risk of getting the disease when you are in crowded area next one is meal from hotel the odds ratio is 1.7 but the 95 percent confidence interval is not significant so we can ignore the risk factor next one is the common water source the odds ratio is 0 0.08 so it is not significant we can ignore the risk factor the next one is participation of political gathering 
odds ratio is less than 1 and 95% confidence interval crosses the null value so it is not a significant risk factor. Next one is public transport odds ratio is less than 1 so it is not a significant risk factor. The next one is high socioeconomic class the odds ratio is 3.4 and 95% confidence interval does not cross the null value 1 so we can think that it is a significant. The next one is chicken consumption. The odds ratio is very high which is 26 and the 95% confidence interval does not cross the null value 1 so it is also a significant risk factor. Now we can focus more on crowded area, high social class and chicken consumption as they are the only significant risk factors. But we have few issues. Is chicken consumption is higher among high social class people? Because high social class people may be consuming more chicken. That may be the reason for significance of both risk factors. Although public transport is not a significant factor, it may be because high social class people are not using public transport. If they start to use public transport, it may become a risk factor. If the funeral house is situated in low socioeconomic class, that may be the reason for non-significance of the funeral house. As the low social class people participating the political rally more, that may be the reason for non-significance of political rally. Therefore, non-significance of funeral house and political rally do not exclude the risk of getting the disease in public gathering. To exclude the effect of one variable to the other variable, we have to adjust the odds ratio. We call that adjusted odds ratio. For this, we can use the technique called logistic regression. For this, go to analyze, regression and click on binary logistic regression. When you have two outcomes in your dependent variable, you have to use binary logistic regression and add the dependent variable into dependent variable list and all the other variables as covariates. We have to define all the categorical variables in covariates list as categorical variable. Here all the variables are categorical. For that click on categorical, select all the variables and add to the categorical covariates list. Another thing that we need to consider here is indicators. Uh, indicators is another lecture so we are not discussing that right now. As we have labeled the variables as 1 and 0, we need to change the reference category into first and click on change and click continue. Another thing we need to know is selection method. It is another lecture so we are not discussing but here I prefer backward conditional and click on backward conditional and click OK. We are not discussing logistic regression here in detail because our main focus is source of an outbreak. Therefore, I don't discuss the first few tables of this output file. We are interested in only one table at the lower down of the output file that is variable in the equation table. There is another such table at the upper part of the output. You don't need to consider that one. In the first column, you can see there are several steps. We are only interested in the last step. Here it is the step 6. Only three variables have been considered as significant. Those are crowded area, public transport use and chicken consumption. You need to see a p-value. This is the p-value column and here it's mentioned as significance. So when we consider the p-value, you can see only chicken consumption is the significant. The p-value is 0 0.029. In the last column you can see the adjusted odds ratio is 3.6. So the most possible risk factor is chicken consumption. If we are creating a model, we need more discussion here. But our main focus is controlling the outbreak. So we go behind the main risk factor which is chicken consumption. At the end, epidemiologists found that a large farm near Salipura village has released infected chicken products to the market. Most of the individuals who consume chicken were infected. Higher infection rate among higher socio-economic group could be due to higher chicken consumption in that social class compared to lower socio-economic group. Also, lower infection rate among people who use public transport may be due to confounding effect of social class as many individuals in lower socio-economic group use public transport.
as the crowded area is affected more, airborne transmission is also suspected. The farm was closed immediately. All the products of the farm were banned and removed from the market. All people with contact history were self-quarantined. All infected individuals were isolated. As airborne transmission is suspected, all personal protective measures were established among public.